Okay, sorry about that, y'all. You know how it is when you're waiting for the dentist to call you back. You're like, uh-uh, I've been on hold for a very long time. I gotta take this call. But, um, oh, what was I saying? Um, so you should know now how to find the information, learn a skill, learn a, a way to maneuver certain things and situation. Excuse me, they've got all this information out here about human connection. And the, now this is gone, going beyond romantic. So that you can equip yourself. And I feel like it's not about manipulating people and using people and like, you know, having everyone at your beck and call. I know I talk a lot about being the star. This is your movie. You're the only thing that matters. Now, right now I hear, you know, stepping on people, you know, mistreating people and, and not being considerate. So, you know, things like ghosting, ignoring people, not using your manners, not at least, you know, moving in a certain way where it's like, I still see you as a human being. I still, you know, I still recognize that you have feelings, you have pride, you have all these things. No one wants to be embarrassed. No one wants to be put down. No one wants to be in a situation where it's like, Wow, you made this person feel this small. I don't care who it is. That does not empower me and make me feel like, yes, I'm a bad bitch because this is my life and you're going to recognize me. I'm not saying we're moving out here like that. What I am saying is that, though, at the same time, don't you be the dummy. And for the people that don't have any kind of, like, moral standard about them. So if you are out and there is someone who is a total dick and he makes you feel like, you know, you don't matter. Well, he's not the standard to then believe anything about yourself. If there's someone that, you know, slams a door in your face, male or female, again, you know that, well, I'm still going through this door because this is, this is, you're not going to keep me from anything. I can open the damn door myself. Okay. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you, you know, you think you had that moment. Okay. But as what I believe about myself, I can still open the damn door. You can't keep me from anything that I want, anything that I need, anything that I dream of, any, nothing. Okay? So it's like at the end of the day, anyone who, even if they come from a place of they're an expert this or they're in the spotlight that or, you know, they say, I only like this, that, and the other or I prefer this. and Okay, you are so entitled to your opinion. But... Make sure that you're able to audit yourself and make sure that you're not creating a negative experience for yourself because of what you believe on the inside out. Because I will repeat this, in all of my years of just like moving and getting to know people and even before I had, you know, this like old self-love, self-care kick, I still can't recall any situation where someone openly rejected me or make me feel like oh she's black she doesn't belong here or um you know you're too this or you're too that or you're too brown skin black um or you know I don't really you know I'm not really digging you so I'm going to make you feel as though you're ugly to me or I'm going to make you feel like you're not welcome in this space or this is not for you you can't any of those things not a not a older white male, not a doctor, not a lawyer, not um an athlete, not a you know up and coming artist in the DMV, not a not a I mean let's let's use examples of someone that's like okay, yeah, they're kind of got got some like clout or got some like, you know, I guess if you were in their presence it'd be like, "Oh, you know, um there's somebody and their opinion matters." Okay, but you matter. So again, whatever they're thinking, <laughs> so he doesn't want to marry you or he doesn't find you like the most beautiful woman in the room. But he's also not going to take that same energy and mistreat you and like not say excuse me, not say not speak at all or just brush past you or, or do anything kind of crazy that would be like that's just rude, period. I don't care who you are or what you are, whether we find each other attractive or not. Do you see what I'm saying? How you use that as a gauge? Indian men. Indian men or Pakistani men or Muslim men or these men that maybe, you know, culturally there's some differences there and so they don't interact um, like you may know how to 
um, immediately kind of like, okay, what, you know, what does that mean or whatever? Even them, even if you don't have to know anything about anything. And I can say that I have been in this experience because again, healthcare makes it gets a broad umbrella of interaction. You might need a translator. You might need to like, okay, take some things into consideration, body language, tone, all these things. They don't even come off out the cut acting crazy. And they may think that, oh, you know, whatever their, whatever their beliefs or cultural things are, they're still not going to step to you with that energy. It's like a, a universal language of respect and just, okay, you know, we are going to exchange some information and words and then that's it. And I don't have to be like, he don't find black women attractive. He's subjecting me to his... Da, 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 and there I'm a minority in his eyes and all these things and like <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> and even too with you moving in a certain way you might have people that look at you but like okay I don't know how to read her I don't know what she finds attractive I don't know you know if I would be if she would be into me because I've heard this about black women I've heard that about black women that that they might be coming from a place of like all they know is what they've seen on TV or something maybe a little more a more negative so again you can always be like a you know a, a learning experience or a breath of fresh air for someone who comes across you because again what makes you different not your hair not you know so much the exact makeup look that you have going on not that you're so trendy that you know like okay you're you're you know you're you're you got that look it's not about it's not about always the physical presentation as it is more so about how you think about yourself, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about your hair texture, what you believe about your nose, your lips, your accent, where you're from, where you're going, you know, whether you have children or not, how much money you have, what school you went to, what career path you've chosen, all these different things. Okay? So, and it's good to have that confidence with other people and other energies and other backgrounds, other cultures and all these things. They make you more well-rounded. They make you more, they just, just do something for your overall experience. Because if you stay with the same old, same old, it's not always the best. It's not always the best. You sometimes, and they tell you that you can't be the smartest person in the room. If you are, you're in the wrong room. You can't be the only person that's ever been somewhere, ever traveled, ever tried caviar or, you know, like know the difference between this, that and the other type of alcohol and all these different things that just expand you culturally. Um, so I just wanted to kind of touch on that to like and, and not that this 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 video is just about dating and black and white and what people find attractive and what um what you should do or how you should think to appease everyone or just have this confidence so that like you know you can pull anyone it's not about that it really is about at the end of the day when you come home and you take your wig off or you put your protective style in or you do you know you um you do your braids or you put your hair in rollers or you say and you take your makeup off and you you know, you just de-stress and unwind from a very long day. Can you still and do you still love yourself? And the people that are closest to you, no matter what they look like and what culture and what where they're from, what they're doing, do they love you for you without all those things on too? Even though that's you just loving yourself and putting your best face forward, can you still be yourself and and know who you are and know that you are enough? And so you are choosing who chooses you. And that might be um, some some white guy from West Virginia, and it might be some um, baller from the Bronx. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But how does he treat you? How does he view you? How does he honor you? How does he love you? How does he support you? How does he do all these things to the essence of you? Not how you look all the time on, okay? And when I first saw the video that I wanted to do like the reaction for not the reaction but just like my own personal response to and again not to to battle her or to 
to like I'm not even battle this hand right and that's not the right word challenge her but I was so inspired because I was like oh well this kind of ties into a lot of what I talk about which is, which is the self-love and the self-care because for all for something for most of us in our 30s and early 40s we remember before there were like blogs and even things to pull from to find inspiration and the confidence to be like all right I'm just going to just let my natural hair do whatever. I'm going to try this or whatever. You know, it was a very gray area for all of us. And the representation was big. The representation was really big. So, again, it doesn't matter about anyone else but you. If you're choosing you, you should be good. You should be good. And you would never even notice if anybody was give, even if somebody was really throwing mad shade, mad hate, you wouldn't even notice. Like I said, if there was a white supremacist, on my unit that couldn't stand my guts. I was just too black. Blacker than black. And he just hated all. You know what I mean? And I was just too bubbly. and too. I never knew. And matter of fact that actually happened. But she was a female. And they were like oh don't go in such and such room. She's racist. And we're just you know we're just trying to deal with that. So you know not to like. You don't have to cancel her. But we're going to send another nurse that you know. And I was like. Who? Who was this patient? What did they get in? They were like, oh, she got here last, um, like a night or two ago, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Miss such and such, we'll use Miss Mitchell. Um, Miss Mitchell? In 5053? No, I've already met her. I worked the other night. You knew, like, she's the sweetest person ever. She's, she's racist? How? Now, you can look at her and think that, you know, she had like that, what do you call that, um, hunter print with the... Not camouflage, but got the leaves and the sticks and the, um, she looked like she was a little bit, you know, a little country. Call me darling, call me honey, call me, you know, the sweetest names, every name in the book, everything but my name. And, um, I didn't have any issues with this woman. I also don't, you know, always get this thing of like, are they thinking this? Are they thinking that? She better not try me because I ain't the one. You know what I mean? If da -da 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 -da. or if I see, you know, she looked different. She looked like she country. She smells like smoke. She looks like she would trailer trash. So I'm just gonna like, you know, have my guards up because da -da -da -da. a lot of times these the tension is created so unnecessarily. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's back to taking responsibility to what you believe and what you're creating. I use that as an example to, to wrap this whole thing in. Wrap this whole thing in. I've had people be more curious about my hair and ask me what my hair is. How long does it take? It's really different. It's really unique. Did you dye it like that? Is that your natural hair color? All these other weird questions and to be like, that's that black people shit. Like, you know what I mean? Or like, what, like, like, any kind of negative vibe. And again, they could be thinking it, but they're, they're doing a damn good job to hide it from me. So I just graciously like, yeah, yeah, you know, let's stay on topic. <laughs> it's not about my hair. Um, do you have any other questions for your nurse? Do you need anything else? Blah, blah, blah. Because y'all remember, um, you know, my, my background is CNA. So yeah, like just little things like that. I was like, look, we as a black community we as mothers and we as um women in general no matter what you look like no matter what your background is you don't have to accept anything you don't have to you don't have to pick up a pitchfork and be like yeah you know i i i'm gonna like be with these women and like feel their pain with this too if it's weight if it's um being too skinny if it's, if, if there's so many little groups of like things where it's like, you know, people seem to struggle with. Maybe even blondes feel like I'm so tick and, sick and tired, tick and tired, sick and tired of people thinking that we're just all dumb blondes and, and we're bimbos and we're, you know, like, you know, um, this, that, and the other. We want people to know that blondes are this, whatever. I'm just using that example. I don't know what maybe white women go through with like their own things but i'm i'm saying that to say you decide you truly decide every day when you get up and like i said every day when you come back into your home you know 
what has been your story and what will continue to be your experience. So, um, oh, 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 last point, last point, last point. When I met, I was saying about the reaction video, the first time I tried to record this, I was in my car and it was like 11 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I listened to the video and I was like, oh, you know, this would be a perfect time to, because I didn't have any makeup on, um, because I literally just ran out the house to drop uh, my daughter off with her father. And I ain't think about him, so he can see whatever he want to see. He's seen all, all of me anyway, so I'm like, look, 99.9% .9 of the time we do the drop off, I'm looking good, okay? So you know what you lost. Not that I want you back. But today, okay, I just roll out of bed, drop her off. Hey, what's up? Do the exchange. I'm going to go back home and get back into bed. So when I made the video, which I may, I may upload um, just to prove a point, I was like, this is me with no makeup on. These are my lips. These are my eyes. These are my, these are my spot. You know, this is my face, my skin. Um, and, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm like, everyone knows that any, and let's use a romantic relationship again, a man is going to see you without your makeup on, your lashes on and all that stuff on. So again, his love better be super deep. He better really into you. And all of you, which is like you're who you are on the inside, even though the outside, yeah, you know, we have fun pulling it together, being cute, being pretty, blah, blah, blah. My friends know, like, I'm not a morning person. I'm in the house, put my makeup on, taking forever. I will be fashionably late or I'll just see you uh, when I say I can get there or you better push that time back. You know what I mean? Like, like those are my boundaries. So it's like. There's no like, man, why are you putting on that makeup on? How long, how much longer are you gonna be? You buy more makeup or you know you don't need you don't need that stuff. I ain't never heard no like that. You know what I mean? It's never been like he 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 always gives me a hard time or they always give me a hard time when I'm like doing me because you know, I feel insecure about all that I want to do because I'm like, is it enough? Maybe it's not. Maybe me wearing makeup really means that I don't think I'm beautiful. Maybe we, me wearing makeup is like me not truly accepting myself. And so maybe if I don't wear makeup, that would say that I do have more self-love and self-care than most because I'm not like painting myself and like putting a fake face forward. <sighs> you know, you got the ones out there. I love myself enough to be okay in my natural skin okay just don't tell me what i need to do and i won't keep telling you what you need to do it's just enhancement okay so i can go on and on but i really enjoy this kind of stuff and y'all know that and i get all passionate worked up and i go off script um <laughs> but um yeah when i first made when i first attempted to make the reaction video i didn't have any makeup on and um i was driving so i was out um shame on me <laughs> for those of you like hypocrite um because she you know you be saying every time you walk out your front door you need to pull yourself together but um uh, in that case i was like a free pass for me but i'm saying all that to say that um you know it really is just it starts with a thought it starts with your beliefs it starts with how you talk to yourself it starts with how you feel about yourself everything else follows everything else follows i you know I don't even tell people I like flowers anymore. I just begin flowers. You know what I mean? So it's like, again, how you think about yourself, what you think you deserve. And um, the rest is history. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, peace. Bye.